Welcome to the Neon Outpost Podcast. I'm your host, Lauren, and we are sponsored by all the dust in my room today. These are my co-hosts. Hi, I'm Angel, and how much does a 10-pound, a 10-ton polar bear weigh? Enough to break the ice. How's it going? <laughs> oh, no. My other co-host? I'm Lucas. Um, knock, knock. Who's, Who's there? there? <laughs> I, I eat my... I, I eat, eat my, my who? who? Uh, you guys didn't do it right. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what eat my who uh, means. You said the who way too well. You enunciated too much. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it I sounds eat like eating my poo. Oh, I uh, eat my poo. Uh, oh. It was a child joke. Beautiful. Nice. Welcome uh, to our podcast. Kind of like, oh, God. I didn't. All like I know started 3 a.m. is like Michael Phelps was big and then he wasn't big. Yeah. Are, are you talking like Olympics in general? Yeah. Or? Like, has, does anybody grow up in a house where it's like, oh, my God, it's the Olympics. We have to Definitely. work out. Absolutely not. <laughs> it's, it's a nice thing. I just found out that golf was an Olympic sport. It just started. It, so it used to it be... Started. But it just came back. Okay. Like, the last one. Whenever they were in uh, Re- Rio. In Rio. I know in Rio, I feel like they That's when did, they started did, the golf. Yeah. That's when That's they restarted. started. Oh, I thought, always thought it was at least no. for a while. Oh, no. They did, and then for whatever reason, they just were like, no, this isn't a part of the Olympics. It's not a sport. And then they brought it back. That's, that's weird. <laughs> it was really weird. But then again, we, got, we have skateboarding now. And that's pretty price. cool. Yeah. I did that's see the space. Awesome. I did see the little girl, and she was like, what, 14, and she won a gold medal or something? That's awesome, yeah. She's cute. I wish I had caught more of it, but I did see a video, I think it was either before or after the events were happening, that mm-hmm. Tony Hawk was just, uh, was doing some tricks of his own. He's there. a good guy. Just, yeah. I mean, he's like, what, 50-something? Like now, like, Tony Hawk, something? he has impacted yeah. my childhood. I've played his video games. Yeah, same. I would say that Tony Hawk is more important than the Olympics. Do we agree? Tony Hawk more important than the Olympics. That is a topic right there. <laughs> I mean, yeah. you gotta admit, Tony Hawk has done a lot for hey, the sport of skate- more, for skateboarding. Yeah. And, and when when someone who doesn't know anything about skateboarding knows that name, I guess that means you, you made it, I guess. You know? He did make it's it. It's a fair point. Mm-hmm. It's a fair point, yeah. yeah. Like you nice ask guy. any Joe Schmo on the street, more than likely they will have an idea of what, uh, of, of who... Tony Hawk is mm-hmm. and what he does. Well, it's not like you know who Bam Margera is unless you pay attention exactly. to uh, Jackass. I don't know what that is. I've never seen Jackass. I've that heard of that. Is, uh, Isn't that like a prank show? <laughs> it's yeah, similar. Kind it's, of. it's yeah. There are it takes it takes it to some some extremes. <laughs> okay. I will say. <laughs> I <laughs> but, loved that show. It, yeah, they're coming out with a movie with that. So that's interesting. Yeah. Mm. Mm. It's just, a lot of fun, and it's honestly a lot of. Yeah, if anything, that made more of an impact on my yeah. <laughs> on my childhood than, <laughs> than, any, the, than the other six did. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so it's Absolutely. Jackass, Tony Hawk, then the Olympics. I mean, so far, yeah. If, if those are the three things, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> those are I'm just, I'm curious. curious. Yeah. I, I think I prefer Winter Olympics to I don't, I summer. pay attention more to Summer Olympics than Winter Olympics. Really? That's interesting. Yeah. I, I think I pay attention more to Summer Olympics. Really? Just because there's like at least two sports that I like to watch from it. It's the basketball and the soccer. And okay. The, yeah. How does the, basketball in the Olympics work? I think the same as any other basketball yeah. year, right? Like, is it just whoever wins the championship gets to go to the Olympics? Oh no 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 no! no. So it's so I they pick the best players, and usually you're, and I think with pretty much any uh, Olympic team, you're usually mm-hmm. invited. Yeah. Uh, some Olympic, uh, like form of. I guess like a group, a group of people mm-hmm. invites the best players of their teams, of their respective teams, of whatever sport that that they belong that they belong to. So in this case, basketball, they'll invite the the best players from each team huh. um, to to compete. They can choose to say yes or no, and then they go on from there until they have a full team. Hmm. In uh, the '88 Olympics, I think the the dream team. I mean, I'm trying to remember what, what year that was. It was somewhere in the 80s where yeah. uh, the U.S. brought in some of arguably the best players ever to play the yeah. game. It's called they, they called themselves the Dream Team. Uh, rightfully so. They had people like Larry Bird. They had uh, Magic Johnson. They had Kareem was on there. They had a bunch of people. 
pretty much any of the greats from every team was practically on that team during the 80s. Yeah. Did we win? Oh, yeah, by a landslide. <laughs> Usually we dominate in basketball huh. for the Olympics. This year, just because, you know, you don't have LeBron, he said no. Mm-hmm. Kawhi would have been invited, but he's injured. Uh, yeah. <laughs> How did he injure himself? He got hurt during the playoffs, and they kept playing it off as, oh, he'll, he's going to return. Yeah. Yeah. And then after the finals were over, he had surgery, so he has a torn ACL. Ugh. Yeah, it's hard to recover from. Yeah. So they were, they just didn't want to affect uh, the, uh, the betting mm-hmm. uh, here, because if they knew that the best player on the team's gone, that... People won't bet on them anymore. They'll bet on them because their odds have gone. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, it affects the team. Uh, not only just like yeah. how they play, yeah. but also how they make their money. Uh-huh. I mean, I I always go back to this, but uh, any sport that any team has, it's like it's a business as well. Mm-hmm. You know, they got to make their money somehow, and if it means like maybe working their players a little more, they they do that, or Absolutely. they they do the opposite and put them on like an injured list, uh, just for like any sort of soreness or sprains uh, just to make sure that they don't get rid of or risk injuring further their like best prospect. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So speaking of it being a business, I feel like baseball, besides the Dodgers, mm-hmm. I feel like they don't make as much money in America as far as like football. I'd like, argue, oh go ahead. The, the, just from what I know, because I know a little bit more about football and basketball and everybody seems really into football season here, more than... And then any time I bring up baseball, they'll be like, oh, if you're a Dodgers fan, you're just a bandwagoner. Yeah, um, I'd argue that even the Dodgers are outweighed by the Yankees, who mm-hmm. are probably the more profitable yeah. like uh, team out there. I mean, you can see people from other countries wearing the wearing the gear of like the Yankees. And I mean, if you, I mean, even just the root of the name, it's like, yeah, what what are Americans considered like they're Yankees, you know? So. Yeah. The, the, the full team taking on that that mantle is like essentially just a uh, cash cow <laughs> to put it in the words. yeah the more jerseys you can sell the better off your business is okay so the Diamondbacks um, are like screwed right yeah absolutely the, I think they're like 32 games back or something yeah from from the first place in north in the in the National League West yeah mm-hmm. yeah that, that's it, we're in August now. The season ends, uh, I'd say, somewhere in September. Mm-hmm. I, I, I never remember the exact date, but somewhere in September, because I know October is when, is when playoffs start yeah. start up. Yeah, you're not going to catch up within those 32 games. But you should still play your heart out, and I know that all the teams generally will play their heart out, just in case. <laughs> Speaking of baseball, okay. for you, Me. since you like the A's, I, I do kind of like them. They were my little league team, so I've got a. The so the city wanted to keep the team. Okay. But the people who own it are mm-hmm. like, no, we don't want to be here anymore. And the CEO of the team, blah blah whatever. Okay. High, high Someone up, high up. Real high up. Okay. Uh, came out here and they're looking for land for them to make a. Oh. They'll switch they're them down here. They're making a mistake here. Yeah. Eventually, I mean, and it, it helps because we already have their minor league team, yep, their their double A team uh, here. Is that it? The, the aviators. aviators, yeah. And that's another thing that you mentioned that like, yeah, it's not all that popular here, like baseball. Well, it might be once yeah. we have a major league. Exactly. Quite possibly, but honestly, uh, even just looking at way like, ESPN and Sports Center, where they all tell their news and everything, it's always about football, and I think that's just like an American thing not necessarily like just regional wherever you yeah. are granted in those cities where there is a football team it's like to the max mm. and even here yes we have the Raiders now but like even then it's still kind of everywhere you know I'm surprised yeah. that the Raiders haven't picked up as much as I thought they did like you see the Golden Knights everywhere in the city everywhere I think the, the Raiders, Raiders have already been here before yeah. they even came over mm. and they already kind of have whoever liked the Raiders mm-hmm. out here, and there's too many like 49ers fans out here. Mm. Some Broncos, I don't really see a whole lot of Broncos Cowboys. Fans. I see a lot of Cowboys. Cowboys. I, I see a lot of Cowboys. <laughs> and Seahawks. I see a lot of Those Seahawks. Yeah. Seahawks. Yeah. Yeah. For every like 
one like uh, Broncos fan, there are like twenty Cowboys fans. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Here. it's insane. Yeah, and I think a lot of that, like you mentioned about the Golden Knights, that they're everywhere. Uh-huh. That you can say is fully our team. Okay. That it started. It 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 had its beginnings here. It had its start. I mean, even like the way the team was formed, like we were known as the Misfits, because like literally they took every or every team put out a player. Okay. Generally, they're not going to put out their best player. No, they want to keep them. So they put out their maybe their worst player mm-hmm. or just their not as performing player, and just sent them off into a new team, into a brand new uh, thing for us. I think right at the start there were a lot of people that were on board with it. Mm-hmm. So hockey's pretty. Hockey's pretty fun. Uh, I like watching it a lot. Like it's it's very fast paced. Yeah, and a lot of fun. something about watching it live. I had only recently watched it live. It like it like awakened something in me. It's just like this is awesome. <laughs> like, I, I can't believe all the trades they just did. Oh my gosh! Don't even get me started with that. Absolutely cannot believe mm. the stupidity of the knights. And mm-hmm. all the trades. And the fact that most of them heard it just from Twitter. <laughs> I know. Start. I know. Uh, uh, Flurry leaving is yeah. the worst. The Flurry, absolutely. They're mm-hmm. they're probably not even gonna make it to the playoffs. Reeves even. Yeah. I'm Reeves got really traded upset too. about Reeves. <laughs> oh, I, I absolutely don't care about the Knights anymore. I don't care. They have one of my Flyers players now, oh. which I'm like, oh, that was such a fucking waste. Oh, really? he's, he's a really good player, but they're gonna put whoever they want out there first. That's that's true. Uh, it's funny because like oh, only just last year I got gifted a Christmas gift of a flurry jersey. Oh and, no! Yeah, oh, and after no. One, oh, no. <laughs> so only after one year, yeah, that's gone. Uh, there you go. I mean, here's the thing: he did really well, and it's hard to deny or it's hard to argue that at all. But yeah, he absolutely dominated, being the goalie of the Knights. And I think he'll be remembered that most uh, from that team. And I think he even mentioned that he would, uh, if he were traded, like literally the next year he'd want to retire. Hmm. I heard that somewhere. But uh, so who knows how long he'd probably be staying with the He's Blackhawks. With the Blackhawks yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But I think honestly, <laughs> uh, yeah, I think he'll be known as a great. And I think you just oh, having that jersey will yeah. will like Absolutely. solidify you as like oh you were here for like the beginning, the beginning yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So I, I used to nice. dog sit a dog named Bark Andre Fleury oh my gosh <laughs> so that was really funny. Great. Oh my he had God. like a Golden Knights uh, like collar and everything so I'm guessing they're changing that uh, they, uh, might, uh they might not cool. oh, okay. he's a great it just no matter what team he would be put on he's a great goalie mm-hmm. he's he's a great goaltender just mm-hmm. He holds a bunch of records. I don't know all those records off the back of my hand. He but has he's one of the greater ones. One of the records. I think he's third in most, or either third or second. He's he's up there. Yes. As far as number of playoff games played as a goalie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> and it's a it's a really good number for him. And yeah, he's getting up there in age as well. But you know, if you can still perform the way that you are even at his age, it's it's great. But it was also a great loss. Look at Tom Brady. He's 44 and mm-hmm. he's still playing. Tom Brady's doing it. Uh, yeah. As much as, <laughs> as much as he annoys me, he, is playing. Yeah. He's, he does play very well. Yeah, yeah. He does. <laughs> mm. So the only thing that I know about baseball, really, besides Little League, which I was always in the outer yes. left field, you know, picking flowers in Little League. Oh, um, like you were literally like yes. out there. In yeah, the I was like not flowers. paying attention. <laughs> I was the only girl on the team, did not... Oh, so it was like a, a mixed sport kind of thing? I guess. I think it was just my parents didn't sign me up in time, so they were like, oh, well, I guess the boys need a team, so here you go. Hmm. And then I, I, like, never pitched or did anything. Or I have really cute pictures, though. Little brands. Yeah. I wish I did more sports when I was younger. And I think it's just had a lot to do with, like, my parents and I. We didn't we didn't have a whole lot of money when I was growing up, so it's like, and I know those leads could be a lot of money. Yeah. Uh, so it's just, and I was never put in that. Oh. But then my sister, my sister got to. <laughs> <laughs> <You're> like, <"Hey." laughs> it's always the younger sibling. Uh, but she gets everything. Yeah, she 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 was able to play in a league uh, for soccer okay. actually. Okay. Uh, fun fact: they they called themselves the Nightmares, <laughs> and ironically enough, they were their own nightmares because they never won a game. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was, it was on really my mom. They did tie once, but oh, never won a game. Good. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, a tie is good. A tie is a tie. <laughs> she still plays soccer. Uh, no, not not at all. 
<laughs> but I mean, she 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 is a super follower of most sports, mostly baseball, just with the Dodgers and everything. Mm-hmm. But but yeah, she likes a lot of sports. Yeah. So some guy told me that he was a pitcher for the Seattle Mariners. Okay. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. He it was like his pickup line. Oh, right. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay, so you're you're here in, like, this $10 a month gym, the EOS gym, mm-hmm. and he's like, well, I'm just on the reserves, and I'm injured, and I'm working with, like, a special a specialist to help my wrist, and okay. I was like, okay. Who, who is this guy? I will look him up right now. <laughs> Mikey Osborne is Mikey the name Osborne. he gave me, I, I, and I could not find him anywhere. Because he's probably, you know. He, I think he's just a, like, a Mariners fanboy, because he had the hat. Mm. And I was like, oh, so you're just really, really into that, huh? Man. I don't know. I don't know if that line's worked, though. Did he have the physique of what looked like no. a pitcher? Okay. So then, like, <laughs> yeah. That, that sounds like it would be me saying, like, hey, yeah, I'm a pitcher as well, too. Yeah, look, at, <laughs> look at me. I am 5'5", five, 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 <laughs> uh, about, like, 170 pounds. Like, you know. <laughs> yeah, you know I play hockey. I'm a, <laughs> I'm, a center. I'm just saying, apparently, <laughs> that's what guys are competing with, and that's their... Their lines that they're working on. If that's what I have to compete with. I don't have very much. Yeah, you're probably <laughs> that's fine. Hard. But, yeah. <laughs> that's what uh, I mean. And then he was like butthurt that I was like not, not interested. Not into, not into I that. was like, well, you're a liar. Mm-hmm. See, if a guy comes up to me and says, "Hi, hi, Lauren, nice to meet you. I have four dollars and ninety-seven cents in my bank, but I would like to take you out," I'd be like, "Okay, at least he's honest." Where yeah. somebody coming and saying, "Okay." Not in Seattle, but I'm definitely the reserve for the Seattle Mariners pitcher in this gym. <laughs> this $10 gym. See, what he forgot to mention is that he's the last person that they ever want to have pitch on the Mariners. <laughs> <laughs> he got in because of his dad or something. I don't know. I don't. Maybe that's just his sense of humor. It could be. It's like just very... There you know, are really weird people like that. Oh there, yeah, there are. are. Like, it's funny. But, mm-hmm. like, it's not. But also, <laughs> like, it's funny, funny, but it's not. Because <laughs> I'm like, okay, so you're a liar, or you think it would work, or, like, you actually believe this, in which case I'm scared for, like, your mental health. Yeah. I, <laughs> and you can never tell right away. You, no. You, you'd have to get to know the person for sure. That's what I mean. Mm-hmm. I'm like, you... It's very possible that they were just like, yeah, look at me. I could be a pitcher. Uh-huh. You know? No, they're, it's a catfish. They're just looking for somebody to fuck or to mess with. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't. I don't know how people would like come up with that as a pickup line. It's just like there are other pickup lines you can come up with that not that don't sound as like literally as left field. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, left field. <laughs> <laughs> oh the my puns God. are rolling in. Oh, there yeah. we go. Let's mm. get started. Call me the pun master. <laughs> okay, this is Angel, the pun master. Mm-hmm. Got it. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> okay. So Olympics mean nothing to really anybody. Absolutely not. No. What was that? I'm sorry. Olympics mean nothing to everybody, right? Because like I can't. I don't know. I think it mostly. It, we can't. Say, we can't just say everybody. Well, no. I, I think the families yeah. of, so, of the athletes. Like yeah. yeah, that matters a lot to so, them. And the athletes themselves, of course. <laughs> Okay. When it matters to me is when they count up all the medals at the end, and they're like, yeah, we did better than everybody else. Then I'm like, yeah, my country's way better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> we're <stronger>. athletically better. <laughs> like, that, that's where I'm at. You're right. That's yeah. all I would I say about. on average, though, Americans are probably not athletically better. No. We were, are we? We're, we have the most gold medals. The strongest we, athletes are the stronger ones, yes. <laughs> I, I, I just meant like the whole, American yeah, population. Uh, no, not like, <laughs> a, a, a countrywide average, no. no. <laughs> but what we present out for the Olympics, yes. Those are our best of the best. Top of whatever. Top of the food chain. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Best athletes we have to offer. Okay. Absolutely. I think I'm more into, as far as Olympics goes, I'm more into the Cinderella stories. Ones that, like, say had a career-ending injury at some point in, uh, their, in their career. Then they get to the Olympics, uh, through, uh, despite all odds, and they make it, and they get a medal. At least a medal. Gold, absolutely great. I mean, even bronze, like, that's a, that is an accomplishment in itself. I felt yeah. so bad for that Simone. Uh, oh, with gymnastics. Yeah. yeah. 
she got her bronze, but I felt so bad about the hate that she was getting. Mm-hmm. I'm like, she clearly is not going to be performing her best. And the rest of the team still won gold when they were yeah. doing it without her, so it's not like she's the only one out there. We do yeah, have other yeah. athletes to put forward. Yeah, I mean, that. I think that's something that comes with like being the best at a certain sport, is mm-hmm. that you're going to get eight. Whether it be like actually um, deserving or not, uh, yeah, like people will get hate. I mean, any any athlete. I mean, one that comes to mind is LeBron. Usually, LeBron <laughs> has gotten a lot of hate over the years. I I for one, I've got you know spewed a little, but maybe maybe a little more biased now that he's with the Lakers. <laughs> uh, I think LeBron's a great player. Absolutely, there's no. Mm-hmm discounting that at all mm-hmm. him as a person back in the day I think he was awful he I was full he, of he was full of himself mm-hmm. he thought he was calling uh, himself King James like I, literally uh, first or second year or something like that yeah yep. <laughs> and then went to the heat he had a little moment and then once he went back to Cleveland he got a lot better and I liked them a lot more I sure. liked him a lot mm-hmm. more if it, it, something something about that experience maybe humbled him <laughs> yeah, definitely, I don't know what it was. I don't know but either. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but Simone Biles also has the. Oh, she's getting too old to be in the Olympics because she's twenty four, and that's really old in gymnastics years. It's a wild like, thing to me that like right yeah, ages the, matter so much. Well, yeah, not even the ages matter thing, but that you're considered old. At 24 I, at least it, at least olympics and gymnastics yeah. wise yeah. see i think i'd prefer to be mediocre at everything than to risk getting hated like that i don't know i i haven't gotten that much hate for like being good at something mm-hmm. but if but if i ever did i'd like to think that that would like drive me to okay. do better you know like <laughs> you know, I guess no, against the I guess me and Olivia don't hate on you. No, but, that's what uh, I mean. No, I'm like, I'm trying to think of a single <laughs> person like, uh, that hates Call of Duty. Duty. <laughs> so we're like, just, God, you're too good. Get out of here. Oh my God. <laughs> I, I don't. I can't think I of a will, single person who's ever talked shit about you, Angel. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, that's nice. Mm. But uh, if anything, I will. If anything, uh, you guys do. You guys do talk a lot of smack whenever I start like showing <laughs> off. Just like, oh man, look at this. Look at me. I'm doing so good. And it's just like, oh yeah, yeah, okay, all yeah, right, okay, all right. Okay. <laughs> but then I usually stop. <laughs> I'm not that type of guy. <laughs> no, we're just we're just yanking your chain. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Just holy mm-hmm. crap. But yeah, I think um, yeah, going back to the whole like. Cinderella stories like I heard that the, the Philippines won their first ever medal like that's in pretty anything cool. I heard India yeah, won way. their first gold mm-hmm, first gold and that's pretty which coming from the uh, us coming from the USA it's like we've always heard like oh USA gets gold USA gets a, at least yeah. a medal in mm-hmm. almost practically every event mm-hmm. you know and hearing that a country just now gets their first medal first gold mm-hmm. medal first anything is amazing to me yeah that's a big deal mm-hmm. yeah yeah Maybe they'll and, invest more into sports in their countries now. It, absolutely, yeah. and uh, and that's honestly the hope because like sports in general, they provide a lot for people. Mm-hmm. I mean, especially for those who like come from underprivileged like homes or anything. It's like that gives them something to do that you know them to, to motivate them. Get into sports and stay off the streets. Mm-hmm. Not to mention whatever. with like scholarships, and everything you know, like that's that could be your ticket into college and getting a proper education and everything. Sense need to go to college mm. to be able to do anything. Honestly, yeah. That's true. So, hey. the job market. Oh. How's that going for everybody? Uh, it, <laughs> I think that's We're all college well, educated. Let's see our yes. majors. Yeah. I'm an English major. I'm, Angel. In, I'm an engineering major. Yeah. Lucas? Uh, Mechanical I have engineering. a degree okay. in philosophy. Okay, I'm yes, we have degrees. Anymore. Yes. I am We're still in school. Anymore. It, it, it's taken me a while, but I'm getting there. Um, We're proud of you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, as far as job market goes, I know a few people that have gotten a good amount of jobs, at least mechanical engineering, or at least yeah. in engineering in general. Mm-hmm. I think it's just because, like, you always need engineers somewhere. Uh, yeah. The only issue is, is that it can be kind of competitive towards the end. And they don't really tell you this yeah. in, in school, mm-hmm. because mostly you hear the most competitive uh, major is, like, nursing. Okay. or getting um, or any anything in the medical field but honestly it doesn't feel that way in school mm-hmm. the competitiveness you feel it outside you feel it just like okay you gotta be better than the other person who's also applying for this same yeah. job 
this person might have more experience on you. This person might have other skills. So it's just it might like be you gotta, a sport. It might be even a sport. <laughs> <laughs> maybe who knows? Maybe you got an yeah. uh, engineering basketball team somewhere. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, but yeah, I think that's just the only thing that's really getting in the way. Mm-hmm. Um, other than that, I mean, for me right now, I'm trying to focus more on school. Uh, just because I know myself, mm-hmm. school can be tough on me. Even even on the like the lighter loads of uh, of schoolwork, I, I still can struggle with it. Mm-hmm. But I, I just take my time with that. And then if anything, find little jobs here and there, ones that can definitely fit with my schedule or and otherwise. Mm-hmm. I mean, what with this whole uh, uh, pandemic thing, it 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 not only like discourages me from going out to mm-hmm. work and everything. I don't want to put my family at risk for that. You know, dealing with more people. Mm-hmm. But also, it's just like I've—I'll be honest—I've kind of become complacent with myself being indoors most of the time. Yeah, mm-hmm. I feel that. Yeah, I, I do. Like I, there's oh, we're all really panicking and trying to hire people because no one wants to work because the they charge. like being on unemployment because it pays more than our mm-hmm. crappy job. Um, yeah, I don't want to deal with people. And, <laughs> Straight up, yeah. Uh, the people who've emerged during COVID, I don't want to deal with a bunch of Karens. There's more Karens out there than there were before. Oh, At I least see. that are more comfortable being Karens. Yeah. If they didn't do it before very often. Mm-hmm. I don't want to deal with people. I think because they have a platform, an easier platform well, now yeah. that everyone yeah. can Absolutely. grab something. Yeah. Yeah. Oh so, uh, and I know like in uh, Holly, which hopefully she'll be here. Her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. yeah. You guys will meet her. Uh, yeah. She is always like, oh, my department's hiring. And I'm like, I don't want to be yelled at by fucking guests. I'll tell them to <laughs> fucking get their shit and leave. Isn't that what a hospitality major is, though? Just learning how to get yelled at by people? You gotta smile. It's not even <laughs> No offense to anybody in hospitality, but it is not a real job to me. <laughs> it's not. Or at least the major isn't really a real major. You mm. could... You could live you not going to college you can get and go it and get it. Of. Yes, mm-hmm. you do not need to. It's a lie. Don't do it. <laughs> do something you actually enjoy. Well, a lot of the time, I mean, like, you it. see, as somebody who did something that I actually enjoyed, which was English mm-hmm. and focusing on like folklore, <laughs> right. that has paid jack off for me. Um, I do have a job, thankfully, full time with benefits, four hundred one k. That's nice. Yeah, yeah. there you that's go. Um, could do something for you if you listen. Wanted. Yeah, that's what this is. Okay, Podcast is, is oh, yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah, because I like interviewing people mm-hmm. and listening to people. Talk. Yeah. I'm also hearing that you're speaking English always, so you know it's coming in handy sometimes. <laughs> it is. It's it how you structure <laughs> the way you talk. Oh my mm-hmm. gosh! I think yeah. people just have too much time on their hands. So I work in the transportation industry. Mm-hmm. Um, unfortunately, there is a labor shortage. We'll have crews just walk off site if they're not getting paid minimum three hundred bucks cash a day. Because what they're doing is they're, you know, collecting unemployment, but if you can't get cash under the table, you don't have to get taxes or anything like that taken out. So we're dealing with that. Um, If a driver tests positive for COVID, he can't deliver. He's out for two weeks, and then we can't find another driver, and it's a whole mess. And then I have a lady, you know, she just delivered last week, and some of her stuff is broken, which really is unfortunate. So I sent her all the claim information so that way she can get reimbursed, that way the claims adjuster can go out and do that. She wants to speak to my manager so that way she can get reimbursed for the time and inconvenience it takes for her to fill out the claim against us. <laughs> wow. And I'm like, do you <laughs> do you have that much time on your hands? Uh-uh. Um, because to me, if you're going to file a complaint, like that, that become, the burden becomes on you as the consumer to file that complaint and get the reimbursement. Of course. Yeah. We're not going to file a claim against ourselves. <laughs> so I'm just wondering where these people are coming from. Do you have risk management? What? Do you have risk management? I don't know what that is. Um, so if this was to happen anywhere on like the strip, let's say on the... Uh, oh, hotels, like certificates of insurance they have, for hotels? And, like it's their lawyers, basically. Yes, we do have that. And that usually I'd be like, only you're applies... like you're to our risk management from here on out. Right. Yeah, we do have that only if it's a... Uh, if they're coming out of like a high-rise building... Or they, like, live somewhere, like, on downtown Summerlin, like, above those shops. Those are actual places that people live. Wow. Okay. That makes sense. Um, yeah. So, it's just very interesting. I think 
people have a lot of time on their hands, but no, that job is not something that I was looking for when I first entered the job market. Well, absolutely, and I, it, it's hard for hearing anyone that comes straight out of college to like find the, the career that they're exactly looking for. I've heard teachers get that. Teachers will... Teachers, yeah, I think they're just like, oh, nice. we'll walk right into the school, and I get paid, and now I can afford my own apartment, and I'm like, wow, should have been a I teacher. Think very, I think for very, <laughs> I think it depends on where you live, but yeah, yeah, yeah. It also depends on what major you have. Yeah, the yeah. teachers, it's like that is the position itself. Yeah, uh, I know in my case, engineering, it's like yes, it, it can be very simple, mm -hmm. but it's just finding which one works for you and like works for everything. Like, what's your pay? Where is it going to be at? Because I know for me right now, um, looking into even just internships, mm -hmm. a lot of them are mostly in Cali or mostly somewhere else. Just because there's not a lot of... Uh, the industry that I want to go into, which is more into aerospace, mm -hmm. there's not a lot of industry, that kind of industry out here. No. Boeing is Unless out you were like on in. the base or something. Yeah, exactly. Maybe military base. You'd have to be military. Right. Base You'd have to, be military. Mm -hmm. to get yeah. into that, that's not... Yeah, it's like I, I would love <laughs> I would love to be in Cali. Like the the weather's yeah. nice, weather's every, uh, and like uh, it's just a nice place to be around. But uh, it's very expensive. Is and it? What? Is Cali? California expensive? California is extremely expensive. Yes. <laughs> Compared to Hawaii, no. As a field day, <laughs> Hawaii, you at least have to make uh, like two hundred thousand dollars to afford a home there. Sheesh. Something really weird like that. So basically, doctors living on living living, living in paradise people. has a price. They're going to their Hawaii. Yeah, it's because of how many people travel. Yeah. That, Just, that too. Yeah. And I know California has lots of taxes as well, so they add on top of every price pretty much. So things are more expensive out yeah. there. Even just when we went out to go visit Olivia, you mm -hmm. know, just the difference in the gas prices. Oh, oh absolutely. boy. Practically five dollars a gallon. Oh you know? my <laughs> gosh. I mean if you think about how many people are buying gas out there. Egg, exactly. They're making oh my God. billions off of people. Yeah, I was talking to uh, I was talking to Olivia about this and yeah, you pretty much if you're in the LA area, um you got you gotta give yourself at least a half hour to go anywhere. And even if it is like objectively close, mm -hmm. uh it's still at least about a thirty minute drive. Uh -huh. Traffic is insane there. Uh, especially Drives the closer you get to the city, the worse the traffic is. About mm -hmm. hundred and percent. Yeah, I've so realized I can't handle any traffic anywhere ever. Mm -hmm. So, California was like driving yeah, me insane. Me, I was I was losing. I offered to drive a couple I times. Know, I mean, granted, did. I, I did I did do it once. For you me, did, yeah. And then mm. you have to flash your lights on Olivia because. Well, yeah, because I, I needed to adjust the C because yeah. I'm, I'm, I am short. So. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's so speaking of your last trip with Olivia, talking uh -huh. about that, I heard you had lamb pizza, like lamb on pizza, and I want oh, you to explain <laughs> like being why like lamb pizza. Is I, I just uh. I want you to explain <laughs> what led you to order and like eat lamb, it and like lamb chop. Yes, like something on similar. Pizza. And so it's so the the meat that she's talking about is beef, yeah. Bedria is uh, is lamb, okay. it, but there's also ways you can have it just as, as beef. It birria is generally how you prepare it. Okay. It's usually like seasoned and uh, boiled and with a broth and everything. Okay. Uh, it was very tasty. Yeah. I I'm on and off about like birria okay. itself, just because generally birria at any Mexican party uh, or at least Latino like get together. You can have birria because you can make it in larger batches. Uh, uh, generally, you go to a carniceria or a meat market, yeah. and uh, you can and you can get a bunch of birria made for that for that party. Uh, I kind of got sick of it at some point because, as a little kid, I almost every other weekend I'd, we'd be invited to like some kind of get together, whether it be like uh, just just for a party or just an excuse to drink or yeah. something like that. Like that. <laughs> There's always there was almost always beer together. Uh, I liked it for a little bit, then I didn't, and then it's kind of back and forth. I haven't had it in a while, and I had heard about the Birria pizza there in LA, so I was really curious about trying it. I think I came across it on like an Instagram post or something, and it looked really good. So I tried it out. I'll admit, it was in a really sketchy part of town. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they had a security guard in the parking lot. For okay. For sake. Uh, so well, it was, those places. Yeah, right. it, was, uh, it was interesting. I don't know if that was for the entirety of that little shopping mall or if it was 
for, for a particular like storefront. Mm-hmm. Either way, he was hanging out in the parking lot and making sure I guess nothing was going wrong or anything. You know, that's a place that has the best food. Yeah, and that's though. the thing. Yeah. yeah, the holes in the walls they have the best food. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, okay, I'm nervous, but I'm also excited <laughs> because this is probably good. And yeah, sure enough, I go in. And it's like going into any like Latino storefront. I get a little intimidated because I'm not the best Spanish speaker, or at least I'm not com- as comfortable with it. Uh, I can understand it for the most part, but speaking it, it's not really my thing. Uh, not that I just refuse, it's just, it, it's uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. Either way, I go into this place, uh, everyone in there is Latino. It was very small, there was only one other guy there, he was waiting for his food. Uh, we, we go in and they start talking in Spanish to, to each other, so it's like, okay, let me get my Spanish ready a little bit. And then we're looking at the menu, looking at everything. Uh, Olivia, she got a birria ramen, which I found was like weirder <laughs> than a pizza, just because at least a pizza. Well, she like, hates is pizza more and she hates that's, lamb. You know, that's a good. She point. doesn't like pizza. No, she does not like pizza. It's a be- How are we freaking friends? <laughs> <laughs> Listeners, when you meet Olivia, you will realize her and her food. Yeah, she's very particular <laughs> what does about she certain eat? foods. Not tortillas and not. Hot. Yeah, she does like. What's <laughs> the first thing it's up? <laughs> Well, yeah, it's gotta be. Gonna to she does not like lamb, and she does not like pizza. Crap. And then, so she told me that you ordered it. And yeah, then, but she ordered lamb as well. Like, that's the so weird. Was in the ramen, uh, but I know she was. She doesn't eat bread and tomato sauce and cheese, but she'll eat the lamb. <laughs> she will eat it if well. I'll let I think if I, I think if I I think if I pressure her enough, she would. But uh, you know, she may not. She have. has no choice. <laughs> <laughs> We're all eating pizza. We're all eating lamb pizza. We'll, we'll, we'll have a pizza eaten or something. Or, Oh, uh, anyways, so we're looking at the menu and everything. Okay. I noticed that you can only get a full size pizza, and not just like buy the slice. Oh. So I'm like, okay, sure, I'll, I'll get like the smallest one they got. Okay. Um, and then as I'm looking, like uh, the guy's like, oh, I'll be right with you guys. And I and I had a sigh of relief like in my head, just like, okay, he's really fluent in English. <laughs> I don't have to feel bad about like, like trying to speak Spanish in front of this yeah. guy, <laughs> like a third grade level Spanish in front of this guy. <laughs> So I just did what I did, and I, I talked to English and ordered everything uh, with, like, a, a occasional gracias and, you know, like, the uh, little niceties that you would do in, in Spanish. Uh, one weird thing that they did is that they didn't have ice uh, for some reason, because we wanted to get, like, uh, aguas fresas, so, it's like, horchata. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. um, there was, like, a watermelon drink that they had. Um, Olivia asked for, like, extra ice. But they didn't have it, so I'm like, oh, that's, that's a shame. But oh well, you know. So I yeah. actually hate ordering ice from restaurants because I read online, which of course anything you read online is true. Mm, um, absolutely. Apparently, a lot of people who work in like restaurants say that the one machine that never gets cleaned out properly or enough is the ice machine, and that has freaked me out to the point where I don't even want to drink ice because I'm worried it'll you melt know. and I'll see little floaters. They tell you about that uh, for the airplanes too. Ooh, yeah. Like you're not supposed to order anything that requires hot water because they never clean out the hot water thing. Yikes. So uh, always that, get something bottled or canned. That doesn't surprise me, but at the same time, it's like that. that it's still a gross thing to think about. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just like, okay, well. Mm. But yeah, the the bitter pizza was great. Okay. Uh, it was really greasy, but mm-hmm. I mean, you know, with that kind of pizza, you're you're bound to have a crap ton of grease on it. Uh, she tried it, said it was too gamey, which I, I understand. Yeah, but, uh, that's, that's lamb. Yeah. But it was pretty dang good. I had about half of the pizza. Um, I I stored it away, and then <laughs> I didn't have it again just because I, I didn't have time to have it as leftovers. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, again. But yeah, that was, that was a fun time, having that. I'm glad you guys have fun. Oh, for sure, yeah. I'd definitely go again, and I'd want to bring yeah. my whole family with that. And we'd be able to finish the pizza, more than likely. <laughs> uh, I think that was the same weekend we were gone, right? Me and yeah. Gone. Yes. Yeah. You were like, how, how was that? Also got pizza. Oh. It's uh, from a place called Curry Pizza. Curry Pizza? Yeah. And oh they put, gosh. like, curry on their pizza. Like, what kind of curry? Like, like, you can get... get a, like, Japanese curry or Indian curry? Or? Indian curry. Okay. Oh. You can get any... There's tikka masala. There was, like, a better chicken one. Uh, we just did a chicken... Curry with jalapeno, onion, and something else on it. Best pizza I've ever had. 
Really? Yeah. So, so every time you go back, you're like, yeah, we're going it, there. Like, it is in Bicknell, Utah. Okay. <laughs> in, like, a little tiny town. I mean, like, a handful of people live there. Um, best pizza. Best pizza I've ever had. Interesting. Now, I got to try, uh, like, normal pizza that they have, because they also have just normal Italian. Mm. I would not go for the normal pizza. Uh, they should just stick with curry pizza. Okay. Uh, that is something they did very well, and it's homemade, and you can tell that the curry is homemade every day or made fresh every day. Um, their ingredients were real fresh. 110 percent would go there again. Interesting. And yeah. they put it on non bread too, oh, instead of like on. I love non bread. Like, yeah. <laughs> that is the <laughs> bomb. Really so you're telling me that Utah is not known for their Italian. At least not in Bicknell, Utah. <laughs> <laughs> so did they put the curry on top of it, or did you like dip it in? So it? instead of putting the tomato sauce, mm-hmm. they used the curry as uh-huh. the sauce. And then they put, at least from this one, the they put the cheese and the chicken. That's also from the same curry. Gotcha. Um, and then all the veggies and mm-hmm. stuff, and then they bake it. And, Interesting. And, <laughs> worth it. And it's actually pretty cheap for being out in the middle of nowhere. Because mm-hmm. I know they usually beef up the prices so that... To cover you know, importing costs. Exactly. Mm-hmm. But it was pretty cheap. That's, that's nice. You know, on the same topic of uh, Utah and, like, surprisingly oh, yes. really good places. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a while ago, some of us took a trip to Utah. And then yes. Olivia and I stayed for a, a couple of extra days. Mm-hmm. We wanted to visit more of uh, Salt Lake City. Mm-hmm. Okay. We were in the area, so we wanted to stay somewhere closer in the city. Oh yeah, I had that. <laughs> um, one of the one of those nights, we decided because uh, I was looking up a bunch of places, like what are the best food places to go. One of them was called the Red Iguana, Mexican food. Mm-hmm. My my first thought of Utah is not Mexican food. <laughs> <No. No. laughs> considering the demographic, uh, yeah, it'd be yeah. far off from it. But you know, it's like let's try it. You know, yeah. they say it's like one of the best. Uh, Mexican food places here so it's like sure let's try it uh, and usually I have a thing about Mexican food uh, just restaurants in general yeah. okay I can have it at home <laughs> like my mom makes really good Mexican food and you know when it's already at home it's like I don't really if I compare it to a restaurant it's not gonna generally be as good because you know it's a home cooked meal it's warm it's nice it's, at your, it's in the comfort of your home so it's like sure we'll give it a shot though uh, right off the bat it was busy like, there was a line outside, everything. Uh, lots of people waiting out front, like, for a table in there. Granted, they had a small waiting room anyway, mm-hmm. but uh, we had to wait outside. We got in, and just right off the bat, like, looking at the color spreads and everything, like, yeah, I'm not sure if you guys have seen pictures of, like, little houses in Mexico sometimes. They're very colorful, like, lots of oh, yellows, yeah. Yeah. orange, blues, turquoise, so. turquoise, just all the colors of the rainbow. That's what it was like inside. So I was oh. like, okay, this atmosphere is really nice. Like it feels like a Mexican, like a, like an actual Mexican food restaurant. Yeah. So like that's nice off the bat. We get, we take a seat. They have a really massive menu of just anything and everything that uh, considered Mexican food. They have it there. That sounds real tasty. Yeah, it's a lot, and they have a lot of. Um, and the, and this is where it gets important a little later. They have a lot of different options for both. Um, you know, uh, vegan and vegetarian. Hmm. Okay. So I thought that was interesting. Just because generally a lot of Mexican households don't really accommodate that. Yeah. So it's like, okay, but this is also U- uh, Salt Lake City, Utah. Utah. So it's like, I understand. <laughs> it's Utah. So yeah. it, it, it doesn't bother me if, if there's other options on there. So I forget what Olivia got, but I got the tostadas um, just because that, that sounded like the best thing there. And they had with tortillas. We know that. <laughs> yeah, nothing with tortillas. I, you, know, you see, that's the thing. Like most of the stuff on there was tortillas, so I don't remember, and I really wish I remember. <laughs> but, but anyway, so I got that, and I remember looking at all the options. Like they had different types of meat. Yeah. And then uh, one of the options was avocado. So I was like, of course I want avocado on this. Like you know, a treat yourself kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, so that's very millennial of you. Yeah, absolutely. You know, in this economy, no wonder you can't get a job or buy a house. Angel is because you got avocado three years ago in Salt Lake City. Yeah, yeah, that, that's really put me behind on my, on my finances. I knew it. Yeah. <laughs> what okay, can I say? Continue. I love avocado. Anyways, so I get that. I asked for that, and um, wait some time. A uh, little side note: 
the playlist that's playing throughout the the restaurant, it's like exactly Olivia's playlist. Like all of her favorite songs, they're playing. So is it like Fall Out Boy and like? Uh, not necessarily Fall Out Boy. It's like a lot of indie stuff that she likes. Okay. Uh, the, so yeah, it's like exactly all that. That's hilarious. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like Hosier, it, it gives a lot of Hosier surprisingly in that place. So I'm like, this is interesting, and I, I thought it was so funny. It's like they knew we were coming, so they put on the playlist. <laughs> <laughs> so we get the food. It looks. Uh, fantastic, and I and I occasionally look at other people's food, and it yeah. it looks really good, and it looks like legit, like this were made by Latinos. Uh, I take one bite of the tostadas; mm-hmm. they were like huge. Uh, I taste nothing but avocado, uh, and just a bunch of a bunch of veggies. So I'm like, huh? I take another bite, the same thing. I'm like, where's the meat? <laughs> oh no! And, and I, I ask Olivia. It's just like I don't. All right, I tell Olivia I don't think there's meat in this thing. And she's like, well, "What do you mean? There's no meat?" It's like, well, and then I explain the same yeah. same thing. I saw avocado. I wanted avocado, so I got it. And uh, she's like, "So maybe that was just in the avocado option, like you know, like a, yeah. like a, vegetarian. Like a vegetarian option." Yeah. It's just like, yeah, maybe. And I'm like, and I immediately was already like, "Oh well, I'll, I'll just <laughs> have this." And she's like, no, no, you, you, you want, uh, you want meat, you're going to get me. Oh my God, Olivia. <laughs> that boy uh, needs Olivia, some meat is exactly what she said. <laughs> my boy. I can see it. I, I can hear her saying it. <laughs> she's literally that meme of like telling exactly the waiter where they messed yes. up, where exactly. like the quiet boy is like in the exactly. background. Whenever I see that meme, I know that's, uh, that's it's us. Because like I am too, I am too scared to, t- to she bring it up to the waiters. got uh, so worked up. That. We were on the phone, and I was at a drive through and I didn't want any onions, and I said no onions, and they were like, okay, so extra onions. They gave me a burger with extra onions. Oh She's like, gosh. give it back. And I was like, I'm not. There's a line. And she was like, Lauren, you need to learn to stand up for yourself. But Angel has this problem with food. <laughs> oh, was, she said that? <laughs> like, You're like, oh. She's the like, first time my friends it. need to have more self-confidence or something. Like, she didn't say it like that. But. I have self-confidence in some in some instances. I just don't want to bother people and inconvenience yeah, them. I thing. can pick off the onions. Yeah, and, and that's another thing. It's but they inconvenienced you mm. by not <laughs> listening. Oh, my gosh, yeah. I was like, no <laughs> onions. I, 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 like, okay, I can't do it at all. And she no, was like, I, check the receipt, Lauren. I checked the receipt. It says extra onions for, like, like 50 cents more, and I'm like, oh my god. Extra onions. How do you, I mean, granted, uh, so yeah, like, she spoke up for me, and I felt so bad, because I especially had already eaten two bites off of it, and there was a lot of food, so I'm like, oh man, I'm sorry, and I got, and like, when they came back, I am so sorry, but they're like, it's fine, it's fine, and yeah, I, I got one with actual meat, and it was fantastic. <laughs> I'm glad, I'm glad it was resolved. Mm-hmm. But yeah, like, on the top, yeah, on the same topic of surprisingly good foods. That was honestly a very surprisingly good Mexican food place, and I never thought I'd be able to say that it came from Utah. <laughs> no offense to Utah, but like, y'all are white. <laughs> this reminds me, because I never got told what? after the ordeal. Okay. How was your taco time? My taco time? Yeah. It was okay. It was very greasy. So let's dial it back for our listeners so they can understand the taco yeah, time I ordeal. Don't... Yeah. <laughs> so we is. were we were camping. It was just the three amigos, right? Yeah. Just, well, was, oh, was this the recent trip to, to Bryce Canyon? To Bryce Canyon, okay. Lucas, yeah. Olivia, and I. The one before you went. Oh, I see. I see. I don't know okay. what was happening. I was sulking because they don't have taco time in where we live, right? No. But apparently, like the southern, usually it's in because my mom tells me about it. Oh, I had taco time. Oh, so this all is the a kids place. in like yeah. Oregon. Oh, it's okay. like a chain, but it never goes south of Utah. Mm. From what I can no, tell, I was like, Saint we need George. to find it. It's in St. George. Oh, yeah. I don't know what happened. We missed it the first time. I was sulking. So, okay. on the way back. <laughs> <laughs> Looking by your face, uh, I can tell this is uh, You were like, hey, look up directions for this now. Oh, Jesus. So, Utah <laughs> has crazy look directions. Look the, you know, the, the thing, direction. and by the time we got to where we needed to get off it was still had its like behind because my service wasn't so great well it's utah fair point (laughs) so we get off and then lauren's like to the right to the right and i'm like i mean yeah it is to the right because i know where it is because i've gone to lake powell Mm -hmm. and it's at the same gas station that we go Mm -hmm. and stop at to refuel at was this the one where there were like seven kids that didn't have like shoes on? It was that gas station, right? 
I didn't get out of the car. car. <laughs> yeah. no, no, Olivia we, went to the bathroom, and then we were talking about these other guests that that had that I was not that had no them. shoes on. Uh, no. There were like seven of them. That's it was kind of gross. But you know, okay. So what, continue. What, uh, what, what if the, I'm curious? What if this is uh, They were white. white. Okay, yeah. That's <laughs> white. That's white. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I no, think... I, no, that's something I keep in my in, like Italian in my head. Like I'm just like, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. 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 You won't see me catching catching me with the mm-hmm. with barefoot. Nope. Not in a gas station. Definitely. The not mom in a gas at least station. had like the, even the even sandals with the like the ugly sandals. You know what I'm talking about. Ugly sand. Oh, you're talking about Crocs? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, they weren't Crocs. They were like leather, but they were just bad looking. Oh, uh, ooh, I'm trying to think of the name of it, but they're also like interwoven kind yes. of thing. I, I know what you're talking about. The mom had shoes. Uh, I don't the children the did not. Uh, and they completely uh-huh. flooded the bathroom. It smelled awful. I don't even think I used the bathroom because yes. I was sulking. Uh-huh. And I think... Oh, we were all mad at each other. We were all let's, mad at each other. Let's be real here. We were all mad we at were, each other. We were. Because she was driving like a freaking maniac and going <laughs> faster than my phone. And then I was about to say, turn here. She's already halfway down the road. And I'm like, well, we got to turn it back around because you're going 50. And Olivia is always a backseat driver, so she, she's losing it. Yeah, she, she can't. And so, so she's losing it. So we had to take like a weird side street. Uh, apple bottom, blah blah blah. I don't know what it was called. We and drove to like, like house Trump, bottom, Trump, blah, blah. Trump, 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 this, that, and the other, this, and I was like, oh yeah, we're in Utah. <laughs> and we finally make it in, and then we were just, we were just mad at each other. We were done. Yeah. We were, we we were, were tired. Running. Well, I think it was, we couldn't find it. The camping trip started off. We couldn't find the right spot that everybody it was, wanted. It was a long. List. We learned a lot about each other though, yeah. because I can say that our other trips were not like that. I mean, about it couldn't have been that bad. Well, I wouldn't no. have gone camping again. Yeah, well, like, we weren't, we were not, our last couple trips, we did not end on an angry note. I beg to differ on this on the other one. Which one was that? <laughs> no, I mean, Olivia was pretty peeved. Wh- which one? The oh, one where our the, the one where our tent just yeah. collapsed. Oh on yeah. Itself. Well, that, that well, that's <laughs> different. <laughs> that no was one a, made each other. I, I nobody see, hurt yeah. each other's mm-hmm. feelings or like, whatever. To be fair, we also took two separate vehicles. We slept yes. in separate tents. Mm-hmm. Yes. Angel, you were blitzed out of your mind and you saw the tent fall. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it was terrifying. Oh, yeah. The, uh, <laughs> my anxiety <laughs> spiked to levels I did not understand. I slept and in the entire I, thing. like, froze in there. <laughs> like, you guys were literally fixing the tent on the outside. Yeah. I just couldn't move. Yeah. I had, I had, I had Tanji, um, Olivia's dog. Yes. Uh, she's a cute pug. She's super cute. I had her just like uh, <laughs> grasped next to me, Aww. and like uh, she wanted to know what was going on. I'm like, no, 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 no. Exactly. It was so windy. It literally broke your family's tent. Uh, for a while there, I thought, can I die from wind? <laughs> That so, <laughs> is definitely a certain type of thought. Mm-hmm, absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. I was blitzed out of my mind. I slept through this entire thing. Woke up the next morning. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Olivia was like, we're not having breakfast. Get me out of here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, what happened? Where'd the tent go? And she's like, it broke. And we had to sleep in the truck. And I was like, well, that sounds real comfortable. There was sand everywhere on all of my stuff. There I'm pretty sure. Everywhere. Yeah, we, we slept in the truck that night. Mm-hmm. Um... I somehow well, she wanted to bring down the windows a little, which understandably we don't want to be in a hot car like yeah. the entire time. So we brought down the windows a little bit. The wind was so strong and like felt so pointed. I I ended up getting like sand like at some point <laughs> just going straight through the window and like, all over the face. So just like oh, oh this sucks. I remember <laughs> vaguely thinking in the middle of the night, like feeling the wind like pull up on one corner, but I was like, eh, I weigh enough; it won't blow away. <laughs> like um, I was like, eh, I'll be fine. My tent has a little opening on the bottom. Yeah, yeah. Where, like, it lets air in in the back. Mm -hmm. The wind was blowing sand just right in my eyeball. Just... (laughs) (laughs) Oh, gosh. (laughs) This is supposed to protect me from this shit. Yeah. (laughs) So what I'm hearing is that we need, like, silk, like, eye covers anytime we go camping out in the desert. To well, prevent sand and, getting in her eyeballs. And that was and that was a thing. I thought like, is this how it usually is? But then I looked up like something, uh, and it came. It at least came up on like my Facebook mm-hmm. feed. 
uh, they said that that was like a pretty bad windstorm that was around yeah. when we were out camping. So it just was a bad luck. It, it <laughs> was, yeah, just you bad You know what, at least it wasn't there when we were like trying to make food, though. Yeah, yeah at least, you know, that yeah. is fair. Which I think I have figured out okay. our issue. We buy too much food? Mm-hmm. Carne asada up the butt? To be fair, even <laughs> even Olivia wanted more that. than that. Jesus, more. I I think so we I'm just like gonna stop pounds. bringing we food. We bought four pounds worth and of food, I could and she wanted food. six before. <laughs> she did that the last time we went camping too. I'm like, so I, it, it, uh, uh, hold on, hold on. you're really not scotch free. Oh, with your double baked mac and cheese and that's true potatoes. But it was good. I didn't eat it. I know you did, but it was good. One thing's for sure is it's. it's it's it never bad good. to be... I didn't do that the next time, though. No, it's better it's to never bring bad more to be, food than... Never bad to be over... But I'm just yeah. never going to bring any other meat, because I've realized like, we're going to have plenty of carne asada to last us five days. Well, I won't be getting that much next time. <laughs> no, you have to get that much next time. We're <laughs> relying on you. <laughs> we're baking on you. We're going to have whole <laughs> meals. Baking. And then I learned how to cook a tortilla properly, so that was great. <laughs> that, was a, oh, okay. that was a fun time. Yeah. Like, the, the hearing you freak out about the tortilla. Well, because you guys honest. were telling me to set it on fire. I'm not going to set a tortilla on fire. We're not going to be on fire. Oh my god! So basically, what happened to give to, to to give context to what happened? Um, Lauren was freaking out about how to you know cook a tortilla, which mm-hmm. yeah, granted, if you'd never done it before, it can be a little intimidating, especially hearing that you can just put it straight up on a uh, <laughs> on the stove top without like any sort of pan or anything. Do the listeners know I'm white yet? Uh, uh, I mean, they this probably good. Right <laughs> 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 they figure it out now, but. Uh, but yeah, she freaked out about it, thinking it was catching on fire. Which, I mean, play, you know, like I mean, playing it to that perspective. Enough, yeah, sure. absolutely, it would. But you know, that's also how you would just cook it, <laughs> unless it's like in its dough form, which generally it's not. It, it's fine to put it there. It's okay. Okay. Well, I, I learned how to. I, I had to crispify it, but I did better on this trip where you I just brought. Better with the food. All I think I brought was like the hot dogs, which. Mm-hmm. You took forever to cook. I do remember that. <laughs> yeah, I think I did. Yeah. Um, and then I had, like, the, the dip, and that was it. I think so. Because we ended up, I think the last trip, too, in Bryce Canyon, we brought, like, three different egg bottles and too much. There was just too much food. We had, like, three different. my eggs. We had, like, three different coolers yeah. of food for, like, yeah. three days. Yeah, I think we only ate, like, half of it. Maybe yeah. less. I'm surprised at how much Olivia could eat just snacking. <laughs> because I brought a whole bag of uh, sun chip, like the chile, like chile verde uh, fl- flavor, yeah. which is great. Yeah. Um, and I know she likes it too, so I brought a, I brought a full bag of that. Mm-hmm. By the end of the first day, she had like finished three quarters of it. I'm like, that was supposed to be for the whole weekend. <laughs> well, you now know I, what? You can have carne asada for the rest of the week. I guess so, yeah. <laughs> now I know to pack double the snacks and less of the actual food. Because I hear yeah. it because she never really wanted to have anything other than breakfast and dinner. I, w- I would always suggest like, hey, I can make I can make sandwiches. sandwiches for lunch. And like, no, usually no one would really have it. So I was like, I'm going to have it because I packed this. Yeah, <laughs> no, uh, it makes sense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I will not try to bring uh, my tofurkey stuff again. Tofurkey. Yeah, that was bad news. I'm just going to bite the bullet and just eat meat. Okay. I mean, it's really up to you. I mean, we can yeah. adjust as well. Well, my, so the tofurkey, even though I did not open it, mm. it had mold on it the next yeah. day. Yes. And, the, and there was no reason for it to have mold. It was uh. not opened. It was nothing. I think it was because it was too cold. I think it was too Because it can't weird. stay, it yes, can't it be, it has to be refrigerated. It can't be frozen and it can't be left out. That's which right. the ice, I guess, was cold enough to create issues. Yikes. Yeah, the yeah. beer that I had put in my, my little tiny cooler already had rust on the bo- top of the bottles the next day. Rust? And yes. Wow. Like the caps had rust on it. I still drink it because of the beer. Um, yeah. Well, you'll be fine with where it's sealed. Yeah. It wasn't it unsealed. It was I just weird. I would cautious about that. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it was fine. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you're fine now, I guess, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. So, I don't know. Well, I plan to get a cooler as big as the one Olivia has. Mm-hmm. And I don't care. People can. I'll, I'll share it. I don't care. And then there will be one more cooler strictly for alcohol. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I think it, because it was real rough drinking some of those warm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, not going to do that again. Yeah. Not going to do it unless we. Well, we're going to shotgun again. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah we, we are. Already, a, we have to shotgun. Where's we've your already sticker? Sta- we've established that 
I'm putting that. I'm gonna put it on the cooler. Okay, on I'm the cooler. Gonna, yeah. So oh, the cooler is really yeah. Good I'm idea. gonna put a bunch yeah. of stickers on mm. the cooler. Okay, we've established that there's gonna be a tradition from now on. Uh, for whenever we go out camping, Do we have to record it every time. I think it'd be great, honestly, to see our <laughs> if progression. If Holly goes, <laughs> oh you my. can make her record because she cannot shotgun. She gotcha. can't do bubbly things well, like that. Enough. Well, good to know. I mean, we, we we figured out a way we to did. make it up. Yeah. It was it was definitely Mickey the pitch Mouse. Black of the night. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, well, definitely uncoordinated <laughs> myself. Like, yeah, like it, it, we were it, it worked. It out. worked. But out. whoever wins, you know, they get the sticker for shotgunning, which most of the stickers are probably going to go to Lucas. <laughs> we don't know. I mean, you maybe you and I could like you know progress ourselves enough to where we beat Lucas. I'm, I'm going to win. <laughs> <laughs> Lucas is like I, I'm I kind of those frat boy time. training parties. <laughs> like I know this. Uh, I shotgunned um, on the houseboat this last time against uh, Holly's brother, and he's a bigger partier than me. Okay. Big time, definitely. I'm assuming you beat. I beat. him. Him by like three <laughs> seconds, and I was like, yeah, I still got it! <laughs> Smashing the bottle on your head. I, yeah, I would have, but I'm not trying to concuss myself. Oh, that's in the middle of the oh that's a, in that's case a really it decides to swing. Mm-hmm. Um, not a good time. Mm-hmm. Not a good time. Okay. Because you have to retie the ropes. I remember, like, I'd only briefly been on the boat, and that was with a trip with Olivia's family. Mm-hmm. That was intimidating. Just because, like, I am not a good swimmer, and mm-hmm. not a swimmer at all. I think I've <laughs> roasted you about this before. Yeah. Because I've been on the swim team, and... I'm not a swimmer either. Yeah, so I think I've roasted both of you yeah. about this. Like, like I can't we, swim, but, yeah. like, like, I'm not good. I mean, the last time we were at the lake, I was hanging out with you more, just because yeah. <laughs> both of you crazy people wanted to go further out. <laughs> and I was like, nah, if I had my life jacket, maybe. Well, you guys didn't like, bring the cool. right shoes. You gotta bring the water well, that, shoes. I yeah. water shoes. Oh, oh, you did. I have my water shoes, yeah. yeah. I have water shoes You were somewhere tripping on your flip-flops over the rocks. And... Yeah, no, that was bad. Yeah, that mm-hmm. We may or may not have also had some other things mixed in. Yes. With that. That was a crazy experience. Uh, that was fun. Fun. I would do it again. <laughs> I felt like a granny coming out of the water. <laughs> oh my god, the waves like buffeting like me. I was a like, whoa. No. <laughs> I, was I was like, I am so dizzy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, but you were having a party. I was. And you felt the wave like and you just like, I was it like you're like oh I, my god <laughs> at the same time though it was like beyond relaxing it was just like oh, yeah. just just feeling the the motion of the ocean well, granted it wasn't the ocean yeah, but yes. it was the lake but still you know. <laughs> we, need, yeah. we need to plan our next trip and then we can talk about sure, the sure, shenanigans yeah. we get into well, where do you want to go there's this one lake that I yeah. I think it's, it's cheaper. A, <laughs> well, the I can't remember if it was in Arizona. Well, or somebody Utah. said a city, so I was like, let's I go know. to an urban place and none of us have been to. And you see, I also like urban adventures because I like just exploring we the can sites go to, and we'll like, see, seeing museums and stuff. When we were doing our trip in Salt Lake City and we were like, guys, we're going to we're gonna party in Salt Lake City, Utah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was my first and, uh, first only, and only club uh, that i ever been to in They Utah. close at one o'clock. <laughs> On the morning. What a crazy time. We had like all, oh my like God. you look so handsome and oh, Olivia Barney wore one of my yeah. party dresses and mm-hmm. first of all, most of the guys in there wore pants tighter than me. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think I was out of my depth. <laughs> um, very skinny jeans. This and that sounds like a certain type of crowd in there. It, I think it was. It probably was like a bit, you know. Yeah. Pit. Um, the the music was decent but like the tequila shots were like ten dollars a piece and i've gotten more bows on hard cider we had we had three and i think we had a couple vodka things too no i think it was just the tequila shots that we just went straight in with which i'm sure everyone knows is tequila shots you're supposed to get fucked up with you drunk before really like not fully like I guess not, huh? No. Uh, we'll, we'll, have to, we'll have to try that. I know. <laughs> we'll, we'll have an experience where Angel and Lucas get drunk yeah. together, and then mm-hmm. they can talk about it. Mm-hmm. But for now... I'll confess my love to Olivia again. Aw, <laughs> that's so cute! <laughs> Story for another it time. Sounds, it sounds cute, but and again, another time. <laughs> <laughs> another time. Thank mm-hmm. you guys for listening. <laughs> if you guys made it this far, do you guys have anything you want to say before I stop? I had a lot of fun doing this. This was, this was great. This, yeah. was, this was an experiment for us, but we're going to keep going and see how yeah. it works Absolutely. out. Absolutely. I love, I love talking with you guys. You probably Aww. say our names first at oh, yeah. the beginning, too. Maybe. Yeah. That, so, that, we've also what, this is names. informal. We did. We this is very informal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause it, and then we're going to record 
her names. Oh, okay. So you okay, all right, all right. All right. Okay. You can cut that out. Okay. Let's, let's cut it, anybody? Cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. Cut it, cut it. <laughs> It is currently the day after the 4th of July. I have a slight hangover and no groceries. But I just wanted to say that if you are listening right now, that means we finally published our first episode. Thank you so much for sticking it out with us. This was a passion project long time in the making, and I am forever grateful to be sharing this with you. Until next time.